Hey everyone, this is King Kong 9200 and today I'm going to be talking about how tall I think King Kong should be by the time 2020 rolls around and he has to fight Godzilla. Now before I get started, I just have a few announcements to make, uh, have to do with the topic of course. The first one is about the whole Monster vs. Timeline with Kong and how him growing to be in Godzilla's league in terms of size is believable. As you all know, Kong Skull Island takes place in 1973, 1974? Or I kind of get confused between the two. I'm pretty sure it's 1973. As you all know, King Kong is still growing, and he's 104 feet tall in this movie. Now, flash forward to like 1993, 1995. This is when Skull Island, the birth of Kong, takes place, and King Kong is he looks to have doubled in size. Now, originally, I would say, uh, no, you can't take the size to be as literal. Like this is how big an adult Kong is, because it's a comic and you know the scale is gonna be inaccurate um I also got this confirmation when on my issue 2 breakdown and review of that series uh, the illustrator of the comic Zid he commented he's a really cool guy uh, and his work is absolutely amazing he commented on my YouTube channel and he was like on that video actually and he's like you know yeah he said he pretty much said that you know the sizes were inaccurate and he had to fit all the assets into the one panel so some things had to be scaled up, some things had to be scaled down. But, yeah, for the most part, we couldn't really trust the scale. But, in issue 4, the final issue of that series, we get one specific shot that we could take as literal, and this is how big Kong currently is. In that shot, Kong was looking at Aaron Brooks. And the reason this shot could be taken as literal is because... This specific shot has been going back and forth, uh, Zid to Legendary, Legendary to Zid. And originally, Zid had sketched Kong to be about 300 feet tall, which he literally looked 300 feet tall, just as big as Godzilla. Um, there is no given scale on that, though. That's just my estimate. Um, he was really big. And then uh, Legendary kept saying, make it smaller, make it smaller. Until Zid just got it right, and they hit the jackpot, and Kong's like, what? He looks to be just... He, he doesn't look like... I think I fell on my keys. Okay, so for some reason, YouTube decided it'd be great to cut down my originally like 10 minute long video down to 2 minutes and 26 seconds. And what the fuck, YouTube? I mean, I worked so hard on that video, man. I had PNG images flying around and I added like all those keyframes and... I had to cut out my stutters and this and that. And it's like, what the fuck, man? I lost the original file too because I had to delete it from my hard drive because it took up like 100 gigabytes. I was like, what the fuck is this? Um, and to top it off, I forgot a lot of the points that I made in the original video. So I'm just going to have to wing it from here on out. But enough whining. Let's just get right back to it. So I think I left off with Kong's current height in the MonsterVerse. If I didn't, let me quickly recap. So, 1973, King Kong is exactly 104 feet tall. We flash forward to 1995, and Kong, he looks to be a little bit over 200 feet tall, which is great in my opinion, because that means that it's not so much of a stretch to say that King Kong would grow an extra 100 feet tall in the next 20 years, because in the span of like 20 years, he's already grown from 104 feet tall to a little bit over 200. Because he, he's doubled in size. Yeah, from 100 to 220 years, uh, not so much of a stretch to say that he'd grow another 100 or 150 in the next 20 years. Yeah, that's the first thing that we covered. The other mini announcement, I mean, it's not really an announcement, but the second thing that I was going to talk about is that this isn't a straight up discussion about who would win in an actual battle. We're not talking about the advantages and disadvantages. We're only talking about how tall King Kong should be in the actual fight. Now, I am going to mention like two or three fighting factors that King Kong has, but it's only to relate to the height. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, how tall do you think King Kong should be? There's two main heights that people want King Kong to be, and the one that I'm about to cover is just ridiculous. The first height is 250 feet tall. 250 feet tall, you heard me right. That is as big as the male Muto. That barely passes Godzilla's waist. Now, I don't know why everyone wants this height. I mean, I mean, for the life of me, it's so stupid. 
I mean, I can understand why they want him to be this big, but at the same time, I can't. I can't even. Like, no, I, can't, I really can't understand why. Like, I mean, I'm going to cover why they want him to be that big uh, later on into the video, but yeah, the first tie was 250 feet tall. I kind of skip over that word. 250 feet tall. 250 feet, That's what I say. All right, whatever. The next height that people want King Kong to be is 300 feet tall. And this is the much, much better height that he can be rather 250 feet tall. I mean, if you think about it, this height, it, everyone's saying, oh, it's not realistic. That argument's fucking moot because we're going to be introducing a dragon, a moth, and a pteranodon in the next film. Yeah, just shoot that one down right away. Now, this is a much better height because of the fact that this is how big he was in 1962. So to make him like this again is just great. I, I mean, he... I mean, he wasn't this big in the 62 film, but, I mean, this was the relative size difference that King Kong and Godzilla had. So, you know what? Now that I'm recalling it, he was a bit bigger, and this looked to be, like, the height that he was in publicity shots, but whatever. Now, what's the height that I think he should be? Well, because you so kindly asked, I think he should be 330 feet tall, and this is the best height that King Kong can be, because not only does it show that King Kong is in Godzilla's league, but this is the height that we've been waiting for since the 62 film. The film that was released in 1962, we have been waiting over and over and over again for a rematch. And now that we're getting one, you're going to want King Kong to be cut down to nearly half Godzilla's size? Bullshit, I am not buying that. Plus, 250 feet tall is laughable. At 330 feet tall, we're going to talk about the fighting factors that I mentioned earlier. The reason that this is such a great height is not only because of he's in Godzilla's league and because it's much more equal. It's also well, it is this kind of does relate back to being equal, but since it's like an equal height, uh, King Kong's reach is far far greater than Godzilla's. His reach, like his arms, pass his knee. I mean his I mean his hands they go past his knee, so he has a much better reach than Godzilla does. Um, add to that his extreme strength where as an ape he would lift over six times his own weight and i'm assuming he would be about sixty thousand tons in the gvk film but so that means he could easily lift over godzilla and he should do that in the actual film because oh wait i'm not talking about fighting factors sorry shit um no, no i was no i wasn't discussing strength no, yeah, he has the reach advantage at this height, and he also has the speed and agility advantage. Because if you're looking at this clip where the female Muto is running to Godzilla, you can see that she's pretty fast for her mass and her height. But King Kong, having a far smaller mass than even the female, he's easily going to be able to run twice as fast as she could, and then some. So his speed and agility and his reach... They all matter if he's 330 feet tall. If, if he's 250 feet tall, yeah, he'll be fast, but he'll, he'll be most likely as fast as he would be at 250 feet tall, even if he was 330 feet tall. So why do people even want him to be the male Muto size? Let's get over these moot points that I'm going to debunk in like 10 seconds. The main reason people want him to be that height is not only due to seeing a significant size difference, but also because they want to see Kong have the speed and the agility and the intelligence while Godzilla ha is slow and lumbering, but he has the strength and the armor and the weaponry and the atomic breath and all that. And that's just really fucking dumb. I mean, we don't need to see the speed versus lumbering force battle because we've already gotten that with the male Mito. Now you're probably wondering, wait, the male Muto stood a chance against Godzilla. He dragged Godzilla around. He did some damage to him. Yeah, but that was with the female by his side. If he didn't have the female by his side, he was constantly retreating. He had to, he had to get a few hits in and leave. Get a few hits in and leave. And the last time he tried to get a few hits in, he ended up getting roasted by Godzilla's tail. And <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, this nigga fell apart right upon impact, you know. Kong being that big, it just doesn't make sense. You've got King Kong confused with another monster. Like, being that big, I mean, that's just not in King Kong's nature. Because he's going to match Godzilla in strength. And it's going to be unbelievable if he is 250 feet tall. So, 
make it realistic by having him be 330 feet tall. I know that seems outlandish to say, but whatever. I'm pretty sure I had a lot of other great points to mention, but I'm just completely blanking out right now. So, uh, I'm going to end it here. Let me know what you guys think. How tall do you want King Kong to be? Long story short, quick recap upon everything I just mentioned. 330 feet tall, I'm all for it. I love you. 300 feet tall, eh, too small for me, but I could still roll with it. 250 feet tall, you were born three months early and you fucking suck. Um... <laughs> Yeah, let me know how tall you think he should be, and I'm probably going to whine at you about how I want him to be 330 feet tall because it's more equal. Again, I don't know how many times I could keep repeating myself, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. This is King Kong 9100 signing out. See ya.